Well, this is a very innovative exhibition because there hasn't been a 19th century exhibition anywhere in the world before. Some painting shows, some photographs, but nothing of this scale. And that's partly because of the violence of the 19th century. It's peppered by a series of wars from the Opium Wars, the um, Sino-Japanese War, the Boxer War, and ultimately the uh, revolution in 1911 but also the Taiping Civil War. So it's generally regarded as um, not the period for exhibitions. Probably most striking in that section is the three metre tall portrait of the Bannerman from the Royal Ontario Museum. And that shows um, one of the elite generals sitting on a, on a large chair where he has covered it with a tiger pelt. And underneath his black silk boots, he's pressing down the head of the tiger, which has its eyes closed. And when you look more closely at the tiger pelt, it's been lined with red silk damask, which he has then overlaid over the chair. And she changed her costume about 10 times a day. But this particular robe is so special because it combines European dyes, which came in in the 19th century, this extraordinary purple colour, with a motif on the front that derives from Japanese art. You can find this kind of swooping phoenix with peacock feather tail in Japanese screens and textiles of the period.
She experienced the whole of the 19th century. She dies in about 1876 and she has this extraordinary image which has almost a photographic face and then a beautifully painted blue garment edged with gold embroidery and with jade um, earrings, jade and gold earrings. And she's a very ordinary woman. She got on well with her husband's wives. She brought up her children to study hard. Um, she stuck to a strict vegetarian diet and she lived in Guangzhou in the far south of China. I am the wife of the Lord Keiko. I am granted the title that is meant for to be met. I live in harmony with my husband's concubine, Ling Fu Sut Pan, Lok Sin Ho Si, Lo Sun Lei Si, Lai Lok Hei Ho Ji Tai, Sao Fong Yi, Distinguished Han Family. Well, this exhibition is huge and it does touch on a subject I think most of us in the Western world will not be familiar with, this kind of the late empire of China before it turned into the sort of contemporary modern China that we see today. <laughs> Thank you.